Greetings everyone, this is G20 and welcome back to another episode of... Whisper of a Rose. Oh god damn it. Scratch that. We're gonna start over. Salutations my wonderful people. That was gonna be my intro, but I fucked it up. So we're gonna continue on. We went through this uh, hole in the wall. I thought that was gonna be a cave, but no. Game is still la as loud as always. Oh, she brought love here. Now, uh, okay, everyone's just like, everyone here is just a sucky person. Found a pink flower, yay! My boyfriend used to like this awful spot, but he got, he got himself killed and his body scattered all over some place by some phobias. Oh. Wow, that was a, that was dark. That felt dark. You should always love your significant others. Unless they do something horrible to you. Then you should not... That That is not okay. Now, and you should always treat your significant other with respect. Ho ho! But I'm not here to pre preach about love. This place is doing it for me and it's not making a great job doing that. Okay. I just need to make sure that, like, okay, this, this here. Northeast, sweet tower. I guess this is east. I'm wondering why there isn't a road here. Because I get lost if I, without the road. Guys, progress. Oh. Uh, wow, this place is desolate. Lands of Love. Okay. Northwest Sweet Tower. Then let's go the opposite direction. Well, this whole place is a, is a happy-go-lucky place if I ever saw one. Let's uh, wait a moment here. I want to see what this box does. Open me. I guess uh, lightning is a thing we should be doing now. Yeah, I do think I was probably underleveled for that marionette factory. Who I might need to go through that actually to uh, progress forward. That was accidental. But hey, the game at least allowed me to do that. And that and that's pretty cool. I don't dis a dis a I don't dislike it when a game uh, allows me to do things I shouldn't be able to do. Going off track is always uh, an entertaining thing. Although they could could skip the horror element there. There that that was unnecessary. <laughs> At least for me. I'm finding quite a bit of stuff right now. Hmm. It would be really comfortable if you could just use the... Use these uh, recipes just willy-nilly. Oh my god, we got eight points. Okay, let's wait a little bit with them. I need to... I'm gonna try to stockpile some of them up here. Just gonna do one large stockpile of things. So I'm getting a lot of points right now. From the text in the last episode, because one villager, like, 
the kid said that he's that one of the chirps was like good and his dad thought he was lying so guessing from that probably the last part a party member is going to be like a chirp from here so we had one less party member than we were supposed to have i think in that fight just so shows how baller i am for winning it <laughs> yeah So loud sounds, everything is really loud, it hurts my ears. Am I going in a circle here? Where the hell am I? Oh yeah, ooh, this is confu- this. This is a maze. Do not be surprised if I get lost in here, folks, because that's going to happen. 10 upgrade points. At least that's what we, we got that going for us. We up upgrade. What is here? Was I here a moment ago? Maybe I was, maybe I wasn't. I have no idea. I just feel like I'm missing out. Mm, let's just do normal attacks right now because we don't know what you want. Oh. I want to open the box. You have good stuff. Yay! Happy times for everyone! This music isn't bad. It's not memorable really, but it's not bad. So we might be on the road for the last party member. Ooh! Fancy. Well, that was great. I found nothing. Great. I found nothing. Those cherubs were, uh, lousy. Didn't drop anything for me. God, this place is way too at last. There's a way too many places I can go right now. Oh, this is... This is making things hard to do. Okay, let's go down there first. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just like... I know that there's stuff around here everywhere. So I really want to explore everything before I get to go forward. But I don't want to take forever being down here. But I don't want to like miss a rose petal or something like that. Because we need to get those rose petal, rose petal unlocks. See these, these annoy me because these are just pointless paths. Like, paths that have absolutely no point. Those are kind of what annoy me the most. Because they could have just put a bush there or something, like, to block the path. Now, I know a lot of some games like to have, like... Oh, wow. Music just got a lot more comfortable to listen to. It just makes it so that... Some of these areas take way longer to explore than they need to. And there's a way to make an area feel big without making it be big. It just feels like there are so many, like, pointless paths. Which isn't great.
party member soon question mark sorry about that taking up uh, I'm taking a little bit of notes during the episode not not really for progression's sake I'm, I'm doing it for to figure out names for the episodes and stuff like that memory orbs Okay, see, this here. I should also, like, at some point start uh, taking notes regards to reviewing it. About a cherry, though. So, at least I can put that on top. Ha <laughs> ha! Whoop. Actually, screw that, just like notes. I'll try to write out, like, I'll, I'll look over the videos again when I decide to review it. If I decide to review it, that is. Oh. Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? I know that I wanted to do some reviews on some games. I think the game that I've... The, ga the only like game that I've distinctly gotten, like, the the longing to just review it immediately when I finish it was Tales of Zestria. Uh, Tales of Zestria. No, no. Vesperia. Because, um, don't get me wrong, it's a fine game, but, uh, I had some issues with it. And, uh, uh, because of my disappointment, I kind of felt like I wanted to uh, express myself. Because I was disappointed in the game, not really... I didn't... I, I liked it, but I was disappointed in it. I feel like, feel like it, um, didn't, feel like it kind of screwed me over in a way. But hey, we might be getting our new party member, so that's great. Back to the topic of the game. Oh my god. So we have a bug, we have a witch, and we have maybe a... Ch cherub, uh, they're called like I don't remember. They're like good versions of what we just killed. Okay, I think I need to go up there. So that at least looks like the way forward. I'll be damned if it isn't. Like the fact that I don't need to. You know, spam heals and I can fight these guys pretty easily. Makes things go fast, unlike with, you know, all of the marionettes. God, I hated them. I'm actually doing proper damage here. Yay! It's just having to pick up the items around you is such a... Like a... Added effort, like, added effort? No, added work? Unnecessary, like, feels unnecessary. Let's see now, we go up here, and yeah, so then sometimes, like, I do notice that there are some weird, like, clippings here and there that are, like, make it weird. Strange like you'd stand in weird places like we were standing on the, on the freaking table Last up like last episode that was not supposed to happen I guarantee that that was not supposed to happen You're not supposed to stand on a table in this game Because this is a way back. I I hope Wait, it's just very close to the way back 
Okay, and that's it's just down here. See this 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 you didn't need to be able to go down here. But I mean it's fine that we can. It's just unnecessary. I think that's like the biggest gripe I have with the with this game is how much of the space that you have in the game is just unnecessary. Because, like, there aren't even enemies down there. Like, I'd be fine with it like it has enemies or, like, it has, like, a little bit of treasure or something, like, to get you to go there. Baiting you to go there. But when it's just basically nothing, like, it, like if it's tricking you to go there, sure. But not, like, I feel going down there is... Like, I'm not going down there because, uh... Because I think that's where I'm supposed to go. It's because I'm looking for treasure. And, uh... I'm just like searching what way to go and stuff like that. This may be just like silly complaints, but uh, but I feel like this could have been like if they would have livened up the area a bit more, like have more enemies maybe or something. I just feel like so much of the space is just dead or like empty. And I don't think that that's a good thing for a game, like, to make you feel like it's empty. Don't open me, okay. Bye. Now we can open it. Yay! See, there's a trick to it. It's a tricky little box. And now I understand it. I do like that though, like this this whole mechanic of the box. Like, I do like it. It it's it it's fun. It makes the combat like a little bit spicier. I like it when games do stuff like that, like make the combat more interesting by adding like tricks to it. Like, you need to like pay attention to what the enemies are doing. You can attack them now or not now. It makes you th actually need to think through the combat, especially when it's turn-based. That's why I often I think that, like, sure, turn-based combat style of the game should be hard. Uh, but they shouldn't, like, feel like it's dragging on forever. Like, I, like, that's what I disliked about the Marionette Factory, is, like, it felt like it was taking a long time to go through everything. And that, that is kind of what bothered me. Can we open this before? Back away! I also kind of like it that this game allows you to choose the main, like the class for your main character. That's pretty cool. I mean, hey dude, I won't open you if you don't open me, I guess. Although this is a bit annoying doing this, but I do like the mechanic itself. It's a good mechanic, it might need some work. Because it feels like I'm waiting forever for it to like act. And tell me if it's okay to open it. Oh. My foot hurts. And I feel like every time I try to run away from this guy, it just doesn't work. So. God damn it, box, let me open you.
Really? Okay, fine. I'll use like um. I'll do this because you need to get give you stuff either way. Yeah, diamond. You the, the speed on like the act, the rate to act when you're freaking defend is so fast. Legit, just one hit, one hit left. So we need to fix this tower, right? I'm guessing that. Oh, we need to fix that tower, maybe then go to the marionette factory to get stuff so that we can have keep this tower running. Um, there are theories going on. <laughs> the terror of love. It's called Sweet Tower. Although it is like a tower of love, spreads love. Eh. This chair is behind it, but uh, because of how the game works, it's inside it. Wait, what? That's interesting. There's a thing there. So we may need to go in there? Let's go up these airs. This music is really repetitive. There we go. Oh, thank everything. It's quiet now. Why? Why would there not be a reason to go up there? I want to go up there. We don't know if there's not a reason to go up there. That's a weird statement to make. Love Engine Dungeon. Ooh, that's a weird name. No, really. There should be a key nearby in the tower. Yeah. Let's go up, Helena, and go where we weren't supposed to go before. Why? We're looking for a key. It might be up there. Looking for a key in the tower. There should be nearby. Is it like here somewhere? It's locked. No, really? There should be a key in the t key nearby in the tower. We're in the tower. Hmm. Hmm. It's in the tower, it's in the sweet tower, but we're in the sweet tower. It's quite dangerous with the phobias around. Why though? Can you explain this to me? Hmm. I am confused. Oh. Oh, okay. I thought I found something, but no. 
That's just me pressing a button. But I like pattern patterns in the floor itself, so that's a uh, that's the same as above, right? Hmm. I'm a little stumped. It said that it's in the tower, right? We're in the sweet tower right now. There's nothing that indicates where this should be. Can I push? No, there's nothing really to push. Don't go out of the... Mm, mm, mm. This confuses me. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna pause here for a while and try to figure this out. Be in a, be back in a moment. And I'm back. So I just I, uh, the reason why you see me in combat right now is because I accidentally started recording, and I didn't realize that I was uh wasn't a. Uh, wasn't recording my voice as well. Haha. -ha. So I decided to stop that part again. Now, uh, but you didn't really look, miss anything, so. To basically give you an idea of what you missed, uh, what I was about to say uh, is that according to what I found and the information that I need to follow right now, uh, I basically missed a cutscene at one point. Uh, the, the game does recommend that you do. Like, the guide that I found recommends that you do do this place instead of a mar the marionette factory first. Uh, so, which is uh, funny. Because you need to use... You get some of the marionette parts in Valentown. So I need to do that dungeon down there. And um, because of that, I need to basically go to that gate... Trigger it because I technically seen I wasn't even supposed to be able to go to these places until I triggered that cutscene. So um, I'm gonna have to edit here a little bit, no little note of mine. I had to change the, the title of this. I have a bird book. That's my notebook. It's adorable. It's my squeak book. <clears throat> okay, where does this, this whole thing take me? Use it. Uh, nah, I don't need to use you. It would have been useful if it took me to the beginning of this area, but... So, we're gonna basically end this episode on a place where I will be leaving... God damn it. I'm gonna try to avoid everything I can while I go down there, because the... This whole thing is just a bit of bother in my, in my, in my butt, bothering my butt.
But yeah, I didn't really want to look up a guide, but dang, I didn't want to deal with that being lost there forever. So I do think that I need to check that out to, just so that I can freaking continue on. Because I think that is... Like, it didn't stop me, the marionette factory, which is weird. But, uh... Oh well. There might be some stuff that isn't triggered because I didn't go up there. So I'm supposed to go this way. According to the map that I found. And, uh... I'll enter... Ooh, that is... That is funky. Yeah, this is a gate of seasons. And I'm supposed to go this way. All oh, these upgrade points. There's a chest here. Oh. Oh, that was weird. Wow, it's huge. How do we get past this gate? Can we break it down? Break it down? No, we need to find the key. Do you see the engravings? Hey, what's the red puppet leg doing there? We need to find six pieces of, the, of a marionette that will fit into these engravings. Then the gate will open. One is already inserted. Let's just get this over with. That's impossible, Mel. It was made with magic by a powerful wizard and can only be taken down by one. You cast magic, do some... Uh, you cast magic, do something about it. I wish I could. Sorry. <sighs> Let's explore the surrounding areas for the remaining marionette parts then. I see no other way to go northwest... Uh, uh, no other way to go northwest to Cairo, the mighty wizard. There we go. We only need... F we need to find only a few more pieces of the marionette. So, this is where I'm going to cut this episode off. Uh, thank you all for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you're interested in seeing more, please subscribe. If you like some D&D stuff, check out my Danger Pool channel. There's a link in it in the, descri the, the, the description below. And uh, <laughs> I'll hopefully see you guys in the next episode. Until then, this is G20. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.